Part 1. White Clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar Scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltine and Grander. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, Use your time wisely. More bandits. Not very original, Teach. Well, as long as you're with us, at least things won't be boring. In fact, it may take a turn for the interesting. And with that, I take my leave to make my final preparations. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Oh. I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now. But don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. New path to tread. And Gerald is? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. I have a request. Those bandits really didn't think things through, did they? 
They had to have known the knights would be after them the moment they entered the monastery's turf. Fine by me, though. I'm raring for some real combat experience. Any chance to grow is a good thing. Is there anything else you want to ask me, Teach? About living at the monastery or combat? Anything like that? Students aren't the only ones who have something to learn from their professors. Professors can also learn from each other. If you want to, you should try trading knowledge with Professor Hanneman or Professor Manuela. The house a student belongs to is determined by where they're from, but it is possible for someone to switch to a different one. Of course, that's only if the student very strongly wants to make the change and their professor is on board with it. If you do a lot of different activities around the monastery, you'll get closer to students and they may ask you about it. Your performance in the mock battle was exceptional, Professor. You have inspired me to follow your example and study even more diligently. Perhaps we could train together sometime. I would love to test myself against your sword skills again. It is better if you do not approach me. If you spend too much time around a man of Dusker, there will be rumors. That reminds me. Here's an idea. Professor. Hey there, Professor. You here to check in on my training? Oh, that reminds me. I found this small cloth. It's kind of weird. Not really sure what it is, but it works great for wiping up sweat. Hey, Professor. Here to cause some trouble? No? Well, whatever then. The next assignment is to drive out bandits? Sounds like some training is in order. Tell me something, Professor. When it comes to a one-on-one -on -one battle, which is better, strength or skill? I knew it! When it's all said and done, muscle always comes out on top. Professor. For years, the Boar Prince and I were inseparable. I know him better than almost anyone else. So let me give you some advice. Beneath all that princely polish, he's an animal, nothing more. He's strong and skilled, sure. But don't place your trust in him as a human being. Take care he doesn't chew you up and spit you out. Join me for some training sometime. I'm interested in your sword technique. I might like to become your student someday. But not today. And now that you're all the way over here, Professor, care to join me in some training? After training, I love tending to the horses or burying myself in a good pile of books. <sighs> There's truly nothing better. Hi, Professor. Did you need something? I've actually got plans, so let's talk some other time. Professor, hello. Truth is, my, um, uh, my undershirt got blown away by the wind. A and it's not important why, it only matters that it's pale blue. <sighs> Thank you so much. I do find you very interesting, Professor. I'm just not sure if it's enough to change classes. Hmm. Let me think about it a bit more. <laughs> What is it? I'm not doing anything! Cake? Oh, come on! That's just cruel! Um, I... Sorry, I'm trying, but you're still kind of a stranger! Have we met? No. Sorry. Must be my imagination. Please, um, 
Professor. Our next mission is to go after a group of bandits. I'm... not very confident. I'm afraid I'll just hold everyone else back. I should probably stay behind for this one. Or help plan the attack instead. Professor, nothing to report. Are you settled in here at the monastery yet? Make sure to have a good look around. There's much to see. Like fish. You do know about the pond behind the dining hall, right? You can fish there. Give it a try. one do? Many thanks. Will this one do? Will this one do? Many thanks. Will this one do? Many thanks. Come back soon. Welcome. Please come again. So, uh. to do what I just wanted to spar <laughs> That's right. no. you then we will accompany you on your assignment we don't want anything to happen to our precious students if any of you run into trouble we'll step in and help out maybe hey oh professor how are you today I'm just heading out for a mission I'll be seeing you I don't need luck. This will be a piece of cake. I'll be back before you know it. A moment, please. I'm bored. Maybe I should go into town. But that would be such a hassle. Oh, hi, Professor. I'm rather busy right now, so do make it quick. Are you sure? I thought you'd found me out for a moment there. Professor, there are some things I'll just never understand. Like the other night, I went on a date with a dashing, handsome, strong young knight. Oh, I'm a bit weak just remembering him. Anyway, do you know what that no-good jerk said when we got back to my room? He said, what a mess, I'm afraid to go in there. Can you believe it? You know who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy? Not me, that's who. Afraid to go in there. Some knight he is. How about... Do you know about the Cardinals? They are the ones who run the church. Their identities are a closely guarded secret. Bridget has much more warmth than Fodlin. Even Spring here has coolness. And you, Professor? Which do you find is worst? 
Too hot or too cold weather? I have agreeance. In Bridget, I am able to be wearing much lighter clothes. Training has given me great busyness right now. It is not a good time for the chatting. But you have given me intrigue. Please make sure you are speaking with me again. Perhaps there are way too many vegetables in today's meal. The ratio of vegetables to sweets was completely skewed. Oh, hi, Professor. Were you just eavesdropping on me? Well, everyone knows a plateful of sweets is far preferred to a plateful of vegetables, regardless of age. Would you kindly do something for me? find out everyone's likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. Who knows when it'll be my turn at kitchen duty. How about you, Professor? Do you like sweet or spicy food? Ooh, same! I'll definitely remember that. I've got a... Huh? You think I would be a good fit for your class? Mm, I'm not sure. There's still a lot I want to learn from my current class. Sorry to disappoint. Oh. Hey there. It's thanks to my adoptive father, Lenato, that a commoner like me is here at the Academy. He is the very model of chivalry. Someday, I'm going to be just like him. Huh? You're inviting me to join your class? I'm really flattered, honestly. But I still have a lot left to learn in my current one. You're quite powerful to have beaten us in the mock battle. Such a shame you aren't leading our class. I've heard your class is hunting thieves. That mission is very different from the one we were given. What the? Okay. Marvelous. Hello. Professor. You're the one taking out the bandits? <laughs> That's one way to start your career at the Academy. I didn't expect they'd order us to risk our lives here. Seems a bit extreme, doesn't it? Hey, Professor. Pretty great timing. I want to ask you something. I'd like to be in your class, if that's possible. I've been thinking, maybe I ought to get serious about studying. Wow, very decisive. I like it. I'll be there on time and in the front row and everything. You'll never have a better student. The Knights of Saros are also known as the Shining Knights. We are the sword and shield of the Divine Saros. There are many orders of knights in the world, but we are the only one that has the honor of bearing the name Saros. As a member of the Church, you should probably study up on the history of Saros and the Knights. See, that person sure does remind me of somebody, but I can't figure out who. Oh, do you need me for something? Sorry, but I'm really busy right now. Ugh. Well... Hmm. Do you know of the Iyer family? We have long held the position of Prime Minister in the Empire. The Empire's power lies with six noble families, my family foremost among them. The full explanation may be time-consuming. I can give you a moment to get ready, if you would like to take notes. Alright, I will list the six great noble families. There is Kaspar's father, Count Burgles, the Minister of Military Affairs. Then there is Linhart's father, Count Hevering, the Minister of Domestic Affairs. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is the Minister of Religious Affairs. Hubert's father, Marquis Vestra, is the minister of the Imperial Household. Finally, we have Duke Gert, 
the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and my own father, Duke Iyer, the Prime Minister. One day, I will take his place as the Prime Minister of the Empire. I am more talented than anyone in my class, even Edelgard. I will lead the Empire to a bright, enlightened future. There is nothing I cannot achieve. Oh, Professor. Here to recruit me, I presume? Well, the eldest son of House Iyer will not be so easily swayed. Here's an idea. I hear the Officer's Academy of the Monastery was founded about two centuries ago. The eastern region of Fodlan was being invaded by Almyra, and so the Archbishop of the time took measures to prevent the border from being taken. In order to ensure Fodlan would be safe from potential threats, she deemed it necessary to raise a generation of excellence. That is how the establishment was founded, though its purpose has changed over the years. favor to ask. The cathedral is nice and quiet. It's so relaxing. Oh, Professor, did you come to pray to the goddess? Me too. Shall we pray together? Oh, you want me to join your class? Hmm, well, I'm already having so much fun in my current class. Sorry to disappoint, but I'll have to decline. There's some... It is the duty of every Fodlan noble to demonstrate piety towards Seros. Have you also come to offer your prayers to the goddess, Professor? I see. The truth is, I am not a particularly devoted believer either. But it would be unbecoming for a noble like me to neglect his prayers, wouldn't it? Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Saint Indec, Saint Macuel, Saint Keyhole, and... Saint Sathleen! Who is your favorite, Professor? Now that you are a member of the church, be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings and traditions. I have something to ask of you. Countless books, tracking down that single sought-after volume, it's absolute bliss. How do the poor fools who spend their days sharpening swords and polishing armor find any joy in life? Huh? Your class? I can see the appeal, yes. However, I still have a lot of books I wish to read in this class. But talk to me again, okay? I can't believe it. I'm so glad to be a student here. If only because I get to use this library. Reading books from all the regions of Fodlan. I feel almost like I'm visiting those places myself. I agree. They're brimming with the knowledge and experience of our ancestors. Excellent work guiding the students in the mock battle. Taking command like that? Simply splendid. 
And bearing the Unknown Crest's power? Yes, I'm talking about you. Your talents are incredible, and Lady Rhea's insight as to your potential is doubly so. You do seem to have a mark of the exceptional about you. I only wish Seteth would follow your example. Thanks for your help. Xanadu, the Red Canyon, is a place of great significance to the Church of Saros. Even members of the Church are forbidden from entering without permission. To go trampling around in there, causing trouble, those bandits truly are morally reprehensible. I see. Thank you for paying me a visit. Is there anything troubling you? Or is there... Perhaps something I can help you with? Believers live their lives by her sacred wisdom. Please use the library's vast resources to learn more. I can often be found here, so if there is ever anything you need, please do not hesitate to pay me a visit. Hey there, Professor. You here to check in on my training? Oh, that reminds me. I found this small cloth. It's kind of weird. Not really sure what it is, but it works great for wiping up sweat. Ugh. Bridget, Elmira, Dusker, even people from far off lands gather here at the Academy. Word of advice, Professor. There are those who don't think kindly of such people. You're a lifesaver. There's more food than I can eat. Uh, Professor, Raphael, you're welcome to have some of mine. Don't listen to him, Professor. Ignatz gets all dizzy if he doesn't eat enough. My savior, thank you. Hey! <laughs> so, well done. You have my thanks. Thank you. 
If you wanted to invite someone else to dine with us, Professor, I would have preferred you choose a lady. Eh, I don't mind a straight-laced noble joining us. I'm happy just to share a meal with Teach. You. Just what are you up to? Well, if it isn't Lawrence. Yes, it is. Try not to sound so affronted. And you're just whimsically wandering the monastery grounds again, I suppose? Oh, naturally. After all, I really do adore the Garrick Mock Monastery. No, I think not. That impish look on your face does not suggest innocence. You are up to something. Lawrence, control yourself. Let's not start throwing around baseless accusations. It's not proper. This monastery is packed with a thousand years of history. Well, five years shy of a thousand, if we're going for accuracy. Those pillars, these walls, even the floor, they've all seen more than we can possibly imagine. Our distant ancestors may have walked these very halls. Doesn't that excite you? Perhaps, if this were a discussion about art, but I'm afraid walls and floors are not sufficiently interesting to hold my attention. Nor will they suffice to distract me from what is plainly suspicious about you. House Regan was on the brink of collapse until they suddenly revealed you as their legitimate heir. That was only a year ago. Where were you before then? Are you even a true heir to House Regan? If I weren't truly of House Regan descent, how do you imagine I acquired my crest? A crest is insufficient. I am referring to your noble disposition or lack thereof. Well, that's what I came here to hone, after all. I can only hope that you will assent to instruct me in the art of snobbery, Professor Lawrence. I do not think you grasp the significance of the responsibility you bear. Do you even know what it means to lead the Leicester Alliance? I take no pleasure in saying this, but much of the chaos in our ranks right now is due to the failings of House Regan's leadership. I intend to set things right, and once I expose you for the fraud you are and reclaim my rightful place, that is precisely what I will do. To be blunt, it would have been better had you never shown your face here. Sheesh, that guy. He just can't be reasoned with. Don't tell me. No one bothered to show you the standard procedure for lectures? I guess it's up to me to save the day. Before starting a lecture, be sure to first check on our study goals. After all, students will want to prioritize studying things that relate to their goals. It's probably easier to get good results if you instruct students based on their interests and specialties. But that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach things that don't relate to someone's goals. Not by a long shot. By overcoming their weaknesses, some students may develop an interest in new fields. A student's study goals may need to be updated based on their learnings and experiences. It's an important part of being teach to counsel students like that. How well their tutoring goes will depend on a student's motivation. It's possible that interacting with students on a regular basis will raise their motivation. Maybe. Then again, what do I know? In any case, make sure to keep an eye on how motivated everyone is. Students are encouraged to partake in various activities around the monastery. If you have students work together, 
it will give them a chance to interact and maybe even help them achieve better results. Have you heard about the monthly certification exams? If you want to become a certain class, you have to pass the certification exam for it. That means training up on the required skills so you can pass. Don't slack when it comes to teaching your students what they need to know to pass their certification exams. from this. Let's do this again sometime. That was nice. Maybe I've grown. I can't believe it. Oh, I'll try to get the next one too. Maybe I've grown. That was pretty good, huh? Professor, may I ask you something? Teach, I see you're as stony-faced as usual. Hmm, I can't tell if you're feeling resigned or if you're just lost in thought. Or maybe you simply don't care about anything that's going on. Oh, sorry. I really didn't mean to be rude. I just find you fascinating. Actually, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Can you spare some time? That's just the sort of attitude I'd expect from a new teacher. Speaking of, before you came here, you were a mercenary, right? Always getting your hands dirty on the battlefield and whatnot. It's a bit unusual that you suddenly decided to become a teacher one day. In any case, I've been meaning to ask, did your father teach you how to fight? I figured your father used to lead the knights, didn't he? And I hear he was a legendary mercenary as well. It must have been hard on your mother when you followed in your father's footsteps and became a mercenary too. I see. I suppose you grew up moving from battlefield to battlefield with your father then. You know, for someone who's right around the same age as me, you certainly have an unusual amount of composure. I guess it's only natural that you'd be different from young nobles who grew up in the lap of luxury. <laughs> well, even so, I am heir to House Regan, the leading family of the Alliance. But I didn't exactly grow up in luxury like most people of noble blood. Hey, maybe that's why you and I get along so well. Folks like us should stick together. As house leader, I'll do all I can to help you out. We can start by making time for more little chats like this. Hello, Marianne. My apologies if I cause you any trouble, Hilda. What trouble? You'll be alright. You look like a hard worker. We nailed it! I'm so proud of us! I'm sorry, Hilda. I didn't do any of the hard work. 
Guess I'm still growing. Thanks.